Oh my god, this is so difficult. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a super exciting video. I have a review for two books, and they are part of the same series. The first book is Mechanica. And the second book is Venturous by Betsy Cornwell. The first book, Mechanica, is a steampunk fantasy retelling of Cinderella. And the second book is the sequel to this series. I definitely highly recommend these two books. I absolutely adored them. I gave them both 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. So if you stick around for the end of this video, then you may have the opportunity to win both of these books. And that's super exciting because they're really good. I was sent both of the books by HMH Teen, so I want to say thank you to them and thank you so much for allowing me to host the giveaway. So without further ado, let us get started! So as I said, I ended up giving this book a 4.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. It's a steampunk fantasy retelling of Cinderella. The book follows Nicolette Lampton, who after the death of her parents, has to live with her stepmother and her two stepsisters. Nicolette ends up discovering her mother's workshop on her 16th birthday and she also discovers all of the creations that her mother was working on. This is when she begins to develop the mechanic skills her mother had. When her stepfamily discovers her new passion, they begin to call her Mechanica in a way of trying to belittle her. When news of a royal ball and exposition for new inventors is announced, Nick believes that this could be her chance to start a new life and name for herself. As I said, this is a retelling of Cinderella with a steampunk fantasy vibe that also incorporates fey magic. The book has a very feminist feel to it, and Nicolette is definitely a very strong female character, and I definitely came to admire her throughout the story and how she developed into her own person. She wasn't focused on romance, she was more focused on creating a name for herself. She was more focused on starting a new life for herself through hard work rather than having a prince save her instead. She was very strong-willed and independent and intelligent and it was really cool to watch her grow as a character. I also really, really loved the ending and how that whole thing developed. I can't say what the ending is because that would give away spoilers. But I definitely enjoyed it more than how the traditional Cinderella story ends. I also really loved the female friendship between Caro and Nick. I thought that it was so well done and it shows young girls or older girls how a friendship should be and it shouldn't be fighting over a boy or anything like that. You should try to grow together and you know love each other and be friendly you know because it's a friendship and I really loved the friendship in this book. I also really loved Finn and how he was friends with both Nicolette and Caro and it didn't cause a rift between anybody and everybody was a big happy family and it just made me so happy. A lot of people have been comparing this book to the Lunar Chronicles and although I can't can see some similarities. I think that it is a very unique story in itself and I don't think that the comparison should be made as much as it is. I think that the pacing and writing style of the book was really well done. A lot of people are saying that there's no climax, which I do agree, but you have to remember that it is a retelling of Cinderella so it's going to be pretty predictable and you're going to be able to tell what's going to happen next. You know the story of Cinderella, but there is the big twist at the end, which you probably will not see coming, so I really liked that aspect. And also, I loved Jules and the little automation bugs that Mechanica works with. I think that the whole concept of the ashes is really cool, and I really liked how it was more explored in the second book. I ended up bumping off the half star because of the insta-love. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know that insta-love is like my biggest pet peeve of a trope. I hate it so much. And it was literally they saw each other, and and then she was like, I love him. And that was just like a little bit too much for me. You know, your girl don't like herself some insta love, so the half star had to come off. Other than that, I absolutely loved this book and I highly recommend picking up Mechanica and then picking up Venturous because Venturous was probably better than Mechanica in my opinion. It had a lot more action. I should probably hold up Venturous. Now we're gonna hold up Venturous. I think that Venturous had a lot more action than. Mechanica did. I loved the new setting of Fairy and I loved how the relationship between Finn and Caro and Nick like grew throughout the whole story and how they became more loving and more like a family throughout the entire thing. I loved how we saw Mr. Candery again who is Nicolette's housekeeper who got sent away. In Ventress there was a lot more twists and turns that you wouldn't see coming because it isn't a retelling anymore. It's its own story in itself 
which was so great, and I highly recommend this series if you haven't read it already. Which leads me to your chance to get both Mechanica and Venturist. The people of HMH Teen kindly asked me to host a giveaway for you guys. There's only going to be four conditions that you need to follow in order to end up with these two books if you win. The first is that you have to be a U.S. resident. I'm sorry, but I'm not the one sending the books out. It is the publisher, so if you live in the States, you have the opportunity to win these two books. If not, I'm really sorry, but hopefully I can host a giveaway that is international soon. The second thing that you're going to have to do is go to at HMHteen. I'll leave the link down below their Instagram account. They're going to have a picture of these two books, and you're going to have to follow them on Instagram and then do whatever the picture says. I'm not 100% sure what it's going to say because it's not posted yet, but I will leave the link down below for you guys to check that out. The third thing you're going to have to do is subscribe to me on YouTube and leave a comment down below letting me know that you want to be entered in the giveaway. And the fourth thing is optional, and it is to follow me on Twitter at the awkward book W. So if you follow these four things, then you have the opportunity to win these two lovely books, which I highly recommend you do because they were so freaking good. Alright guys, so that was my review of the Mechanica series. I want to thank HMH Teen again for sending me the two books. I really appreciated it because I absolutely loved the story. And I will leave all of their links down below to their social media pages. Definitely check them out. They're super awesome. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.